Hello, my name's Alice Goldie and I'm the IT trainer from Coventry University London. I'm going to be going through some useful information about your student email address. OK, so your student email address will be used for these two main things, signing into apps and actually sending and receiving emails. So first thing, signing into apps. Well, Coventry University has single sign on and this allows a user to log in with a single user ID and password to most of our software systems. How to get a user ID? Well, you'll actually create it yourself once you've enrolled. There's instructions on how to do this in the new students module in Aula and you'll get access to that during enrolment. So your student email address is based on your IT username. I've got an example. This is Dave Bloggs and his IT username is blogsd23. So what is the email address going to be in that case? Well, you actually get two versions of the same email address, a shorter one and a longer one. Now, some apps need the shorter one to log in and some need the longer one. Now, the shorter one for all students is in this format. So it's username at coventry.ac.uk. So for Dave, this will be blogsd23 at coventry.ac.uk. Now, the longer one, it actually depends on which campus you are based at. So Dave is based at the main campus in Coventry, so his email address has uni in it. So it's blogsd23 at uni.coventry.ac.uk. Another example, Nazarene Vinhas is based at Coventry University London. So her username is Vinhas N. And her longer student email address, because she's at Coventry University London, it has Culk Uni in the middle. So it's Vinhas N at culkuni.coventry.ac.uk. And just to show how this works, so for the main campus in Coventry, they all have uni in the middle. If you're based at CU Coventry, it has CU College in the middle. If you're based at Coventry University London, it has Culk Uni in the middle. If you're based at CU London, it's CU Lon Uni. And if you're based at CU Scarborough, it's CUSC Uni. There's more information on this um, on the student portal once you get enrolled. So how do you know which email address to use to log into an app? Well, you'll actually get to know which one to use for the apps you use every day. But rather than telling you a big list of which one to use, which you then have to try and remember, my advice is actually um, just to try one and then the other. There's only two options. So it, it won't take you long if you can't remember which it is. A couple of examples for the apps you use a lot. You'll be using Aula. This is where all of your studies and your lectures are based. And that needs the shorter version of your student email. And Teams and the other Microsoft apps use the longer version as just two examples. So Dave is no longer confused. We hope you aren't either. If you have any problems with logging into apps, please just contact us in IT services and we'll be happy to help you out. OK, so now on to the next bit, the actually sending and receiving emails. Well, what app should you use? Um, we recommend using Outlook. You will get a free copy of this because all students get a free license for the whole Microsoft Office suite, which includes Outlook when you enrol. And you'll be able to download apps for your phone and your laptop um, for the whole Microsoft Office suite. Or you can just use the online app in a browser if you want to. And you can send to either version of your email address. They both work. Now, of course, you have your own personal email address already. So do you have to use your student email account? 
Well, I'm afraid the answer is yes. It's actually really important that you check your student email regularly because this is where the university will send official communications to you. So to make sure you don't miss anything important, you should look in your student email account every day. And that is all we need to tell you right now about your student email address.